Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. I'm Nick Park, and I'm taking us through a series of messages on the great prayers of the Old Testament. We're seeing how God took his people deeper into the practice of prayer and into a deeper intimacy with himself. And so their prayers became more effective. And our prayer is that our prayer journey will be similar to that as we look at these lessons together. Now, we were looking yesterday at Nehemiah and we saw how his enemies ridiculed the building of the wall, the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem and how there was a there was truth to what they said. I mean, compared to what the walls had been, what was being built was pathetic and uh, Nehemiah felt that shame. But they prayed and uh, their prayer turned shame into determination and so they made progress with building the wall. Now, you might sometimes make the mistake of thinking if you can move beyond people's ridicule that it's just going to dissolve away. But that is not always the case. And that was not the case with Sanballat and Tobiah and their allies when they saw what Nehemiah was doing and how he was persisting with rebuilding the wall. So in Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, But when Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the people of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's walls had gone ahead and that the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. And they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and stir up trouble against it. But we prayed to our God and posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Now, once this uh, ridicule turned to anger and to actual physical threats, Nehemiah responded in a beautiful biblical way. Now, yes, he did take practical steps, but before he did that, the first thing he did was to pray. Because when we are confronted with anger, it is so easy to become angry ourselves. We want to respond in like kind. And so people get angry at us and we tend to get angry back at them. And when we're angry at people, we often make the wrong decisions and we often take the wrong courses of action because anger clouds our judgment. And so Nehemiah, instead of getting angry, he prayed. And he says, we prayed and then we posted a guard day and night night. So prayer prevents us from responding to anger with anger, but rather with faith and a good strategy. And the strategy that Nehemiah came up with was not to go and to attack Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Ammonites and the Ashdod people and all of that. Instead, they set their workers and they would hold their building implements in one hand and their sword in the other or as, in, as older translations of the Bible says, a sword in one hand and a trowel in the other. The great uh, preacher of the 19th century, Charles Spurgeon, whenever he started producing a magazine concentrating on raising up and training Christian leaders, called his magazine The Sword and the Trowel, because the emphasis was on this, that you have to be prepared to wage warfare, but you also, and you have to be prepared to defend, but you also have to be prepared to build. Sometimes churches are concentrating so much on building up that they don't defend the truth. Sometimes they're so busy concentrating on fighting battles with everybody that they don't build up and do that constructive stuff which is needed. We've got to strike a balance. We've got to build and we've got to be ready to defend the truth against the attacks of those who would bring falsehood and lies and deceit and violence against the people of God and the message of God. And so that's what Nehemiah did. But it was prayer that made the difference. So next time you find yourself in a situation where you're not just being ridiculed, but it's actually starting to turn nasty, people are setting themselves as your enemies, they're starting to make threats against you, then what you need to do is first of all, turn to prayer and say, Lord, don't allow me to respond to anger with anger, but help me to respond by faith and to take a good strategy led by the Holy Spirit which is going to bring me through to a place of victory. May God help you to do that. I pray for you now in Jesus' name that you will be victorious and no weapon that's fashioned against you shall prosper. 
in Jesus' name. God bless you. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.